Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So many exciting things that I have to share, but today's video is really about my journey in going back to school, how I decided, you know, that I wanted to go back to school now, where I wanted to go and what program that I wanted to get into. But first, I got a new camera, so hopefully the quality on this is pretty good cuz uh, um I like it so far. The only review that I read that wasn't great was that the audio might not be amazing, but hopefully we're praying <laughs> that you guys can hear me, you guys can hear me well. Um, so yeah, got a new camera, got a whole new setup. One day maybe I'll show you guys if you guys are interested. But I wanted to share because I found something today that like is blowing my mind. So first of all, did you guys know that NYX shut down in Canada and the States? Mind blown. Um, but so I'm searching, I was searching to find something. I hate foundation and I love the, the NYX, um, can't stop, won't stop concealer, but I haven't been able to find different shades in Shoppers Drug Mart. And again, NYX got up and left apparently last year. So I went in the store and I found focus, focus. Oh, look at that. I found this and I think it looks pretty good. Again, I hate foundation. So this, this, look at it. And this is the shade 330. And for my summer skin, it, it's working. So let's get right into the actual video for today. So I graduated last year with my degree in child and youth care from Ryerson. And I love my degree, love my program, but I, I knew I wanted to do something and I knew like, I don't know why, but for me, a master's program just wasn't coming. Like it wasn't something that I was just like, yes, I want to go do my master's in CYC or social work. It just was not it for me. Like I wasn't feeling it like that. And I felt very guilty because I was working with a lot of CYCs and social workers and like psychologists and like all my, my co-workers at the time were going back to school for their master's degrees, which so happy and excited for them. But I felt like, should I be doing that? Should I be feeling the way that they're feeling? Should I be so excited to go back? And I just, I wasn't feeling it. And I was just like, okay, I'm gonna give myself some time um, and I'll figure it out, right? I'll feel out where I'm, I'm thinking that I want to go. And I was thinking maybe because I just came out of school that that's the reason why I wasn't so keen on going back at the moment. But I was just like, let me give myself some time. I did not plan on being in school right now. September, the thought like early summer was not even in my mind. I thought I'd be still working, still, you know, doing my full-time job and figuring out the school thing afterwards. So the, and God has such, I love the quote that's just like, if you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plans because, so I have a business called In The In Between. I'll have all the information linked down below. And it's really a wellness coaching, holistic approach type lifestyle business, right? And I knew eventually I wanted to go back to school so that I could further that business. I could rely on it solely for income and just fulfill what I really wanted to do with my life. But at the same time, I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know about any wellness coaching um, programs or anything like that. But I, I built the website. I have my Instagram. So, <laughs> but I just, I was just like, you know what, one day at a time. I was going through programs because I knew first I was working full time, loved, loved my job, loved the people that I was working with, loved my clients. And unfortunately, we got closed down. I got laid off along with my coworkers and I had to say goodbye to that job. And in that moment, I was just like, God, like, I love the experience and I was so thankful for it. And I was just like, what next? Um, and then I applied to school in August. If you know about apply applying to schools and stuff like that, you know that August is late. <laughs> and I was very like unsure, even when I was to pay that deposit, I was just like, 
Ooh, okay. I don't know if I'm going to get in. Plus, I'm unemployed. So, like, spending this money is a lot right now. And they took forever to get back to me. And, like, end of August, almost into September, they finally let me know that I had gotten in. And I was just so excited. And it was just confirmation that, you know, the plan that I have for my life is what it meant to be doing. It's the direction that I'm supposed to be going in. And so I applied um, through Ontario Colleges. Um, I found the program just by literally just doing researches and graduate programs in the field of wellness. I'm going to Humber College. Um, the program is a year. It's two semesters. Um, it is a graduate program meant for working people. So all my classes are in the evening and online. Well, online because of COVID. And it's just, it's been such a great, oh, journey so far i'm only week two um but it's been so good and the confirmation that you know just the door is opening and just how things have aligned and i'm just like yes i know that this is the path for me and it just feels so good that you know you can see god just laying laying things out for you and so i applied late july early august because i got laid off in august and I got my confirmation of acceptance late August, um, struggled with OSAP, which is our um, student assistant program, and struggled with getting into classes in time just because, again, I was so behind on my application, but everything came through. And the crazy thing is I emailed one of my profs because that was the only email I could find at the time. And I was just like, listen, I haven't gotten in. You know, I haven't heard anything. Should I be prepping or should I be looking for a job? And she had responded and she'd let me know, like, unfortunately, like a lot of people are getting waitlisted at this point. So I'll know in the next week. But it was kind of like, okay, like wait the week, but don't have your hopes too high. So when that confirmation came through, I was like through the roof excited and happy. I'm in my second week, as I said. And it's just been great. Um, of course, the first week is usually, you know, introductions. Um, just like, you know, very like things. But so far, my profs that I've met have been amazing. My classmates are great. And I'm just, I feel that I'm where I'm supposed to be. And I, I love that feeling of confirmation, that peace, that joy, that excitement. Again, I didn't feel that when I thought about my master's program or going to do my master's. But I feel it with this program. And... It's funny because I'm still like, I, I probably want to have a master's eventually, but I don't feel the rush to do it. Like after I finish this program, we'll see what happens. But my prof was letting me know that they actually have a bridged master's program. So after I finish this graduate certificate, I can then just decide to do a year at a university. I get my master's, which honestly, I'm just like, that's, oh, that would be great. <laughs> But we'll see what happens. To be honest, I'm taking the every day one day at a time and just seeing, you know, where God leads and all that. But the application process was pretty easy through Ontario Colleges. Um, I'm covering the cost of my education through OSAP because that's just the route for me right now. And the textbooks, one was like 40. We only need two textbooks, which is great. And then the other I found a free PDF. And it's funny because then during class, our prof was just like, if you can find it free, just print it. I found it. It was like maybe a hundred and something pages. And I just printed it all at home because I have a, a subscription for my printer. So it didn't really cost me that much more than I pay monthly. So I printed it at home, put it in a binder. And I just, I have class this evening actually. Well, to, today's Tuesday that I'm filming this. You guys will see this on Sunday. But it's just, it's great. It's its so good to just find your place, to find, you know, your calling. And I'm just so excited to see where it leads. And a school has started back or whatever journey you're in in your life, I hope that you're finding peace and joy in it. I hope that you're happy. I hope that, you know, you're finding, I always say, we spend so much time at work, enjoy what you do. Or do what you, you love to do. Do what you enjoy and then call it work got to be getting money from it but <laughs> you spend so much time at your job doing 
you know whatever it is that you do ensure that it is something that you enjoy and yeah like it's crazy like i can't believe i'm here i can't believe i'm back in school i can't believe i'm in this program but i'm just so excited <laughs> as always i just want to thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe like comment share um and i will see you next week for my next video as always remember that you're beautiful you are loved you are enough